Tampa's oldest public cemetery is going digital. The idea is to map and catalog not just the headstones of the historic park, but to find graves hidden below the surface. Reporter Adam Weiner shows us what they're looking for and why. Oh, it's cool. These are outdoor museums. Um, and we want people to, you know, come here and really kind of learn about the history of Tampa. Dozens of graves might be hidden in Tampa's Oaklawn Cemetery, estimates Dr. Jeff Motes of USF. But there's no way to know for sure what's below the ground unless you dig it up. But with ground penetrating radar, you can get a pretty good idea. It is transmitting an electromagnetic pulse and receiving it, as it bounces back off the soil layers. Right now, there's no official record of what's in Oaklawn Cemetery, but the city of Tampa is now funding a project using radar and mapping techniques to make one. We don't really have an idea. There's some big, there's some big pieces or big plots out here that don't have any uh, above ground grave markers. Um, and so really we just want to see if there's, you know, some, some remains or some graves that are below ground that are unmarked. There are some famous names here like former city mayors, former state justices, even Mr. Vicente Ebor himself. But it's also a public cemetery, which means a lot of unknowns are laid to rest here too. There was an area set aside for slaves. Uh, there were yellow, fe yellow fever victims that were buried out here. And a lot of those are probably the ones that don't have grave markers today. It'll take a few weeks to collect the data, then several months to create the database. The map could go a long way towards the park getting a National Historic Landmark designation. In Tampa, Adam Weiner, ABC Action News.